Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got the latest results from Taiwan Semiconductor. Big company, big quarter. I'm Corey Johnson. This is the business story behind one stock on the move. I'm Futurum Group's chief market strategist, and we care so much about Taiwan Semiconductor because it's the most important manufacturing company I'm just going to say in the world right now. Uh, in this quarter, the Wall Street analysts like a beat or a miss, and this is a beat, I guess. Uh, they got some more hand-holding when the company raised its guidance kind of telegraphing to Wall Street what the numbers are going to be. But we care about the business, and the business is doing quite well. They reported 673.5 billion NT in the quarter. New Taiwanese dollars. Yes, they, they pass around $1,000 uh, new Taiwanese dollar notes in Taiwan. In US dollars, $20.8 billion. And that's 15% better than it was same time last year. And we've seen kind of a turnaround in revenues for this company. And now within the business, what we see is that their advanced wafer business, that is the, the thinnest uh, 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 wafers that they manufacture. So, so chips uh, in, the, in the seven nanometer, in the five nanometer, in the three nanometer, um, that was uh, two thirds of their business. 33% was of course other um, in, in, in fatter chips, but the most advanced stuff is doing the best for this company. Indeed, in the three nanometer, which is kind of a new area for them, uh, they've only had four quarters of revenues in three nanometer. That was a 55% on a sequential basis. So really strong growth in the most advanced chips. It reflects what we know about the chip manufacturing uh, for NVIDIA in particular uh, on that three nanometer platform. And when you look at their business, they're always adding something new. And you can see that starting to grow as their, their uh, uh, older uh, technologies are still a big business, you know, 33% of revenues, we're gonna call that about over $7 billion in revenues in the quarter, but shrinking as they add three nanometer and they continue to try to add capacity because they're just sold out. Uh, and so we heard more of that from the company when the market uh, saw these numbers overnight uh, the stock, uh, although the numbers are good, the stock was down about 2%. That might reflect the overall market, because for the year, the stock's up over 60%, uh, a fantastic return for Taiwan Semi. And that's despite um, some weakness in smartphones, which has uh, typically been a really big business for them. Uh, smartphone sales down again this quarter on a sequential basis, down 13%. Uh, after declines in a previous quarter as well. There's hope that that will revive at the end of this year. Um, they didn't give any indication of that specifically, but they did talk a lot about their capital expenditure plans. Well, I, sh I should say, they talked about their struggle to grow in, in, in capacity. They didn't give us any hard numbers in CapEx. The expectations are they'll do about $8 billion in CapEx uh, uh, in every quarter for the rest of the year. That did not materialize this quarter where they did uh, under $7 billion in capital expenditures. I think 6.7 is about the number there. But that number is, is ticking up a little bit. It ticked up last quarter as well. So increasing CapEx from Taiwan Semi as they really struggle to meet the demand that they're having. Uh, they seem to be quite happy about it. They did a press conference in Taiwan. It's a very uh, uh, Taiwanese thing to do where they, they had the, the three senior executives from the company all sitting on a, on a platform answering questions from analysts and reporters who were gathered there. Uh, and their CEO, CC Wei, was asked about what they could possibly do to increase capacity and how long this incredible demand will last. Uh, he said it's making him out of his mind. Now it's out of my mind. I mean, we continue to increase what, whatever, wherever, whatever I can. Okay. Uh, it, the supply continue to be um, very tight all the way through probably 2025, and I hope it can be eased in 2026. That's a today's situation. So yeah, sold out in 2024, adding capacity and still not able to meet demand in 2025. And, and 2026, maybe things get better, that's today's situation, he says, but which I think suggests to us that they don't really know how long the good times are gonna roll, but they're rolling right now. I'm gonna give you one number that tells you everything you need to know about Taiwan Semiconductor's quarter right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. 
All right, Taiwan Semiconductor reports their second quarter numbers. They were really strong, uh, a 15% increase in the year-over-year revenues uh, of $20.8 billion. But I promise you to bite one number that tells you a whole lot. And you know this company is always innovating, always adding new capacity. And what we saw in this quarter uh, is reflected in their three nanometer business. It is their, their newest business. They've only had four quarters of revenues here and it's growing at 55%, but that's not the number. Here's the number, the one number that tells you a whole lot, the drill down earnings bite, 15%. The three nanometer business is now 15% of their overall revenues. But ain't one thing, it's another. And the other thing for these guys now is three nanometer. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Check me out uh, on X at Corey TV, at Drill Down Pod, at, uh, on, on TikTok and on Instagram. And yes, at 6.5 on YouTube for the full earnings report of this and many other companies.